4,900 pounds, pretty much on the nose. One owner originally sold here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. We've got a return customer coming back to the upgrade. Their small little couples camp and Coachman Ultralight that we're looking at right now, swapping into a larger Coachman Freedom Express bunkhouse ultralight here at Haylet RV. So they stayed with us, stayed with the Coachman family. It's got to tell you, they had a good experience with this trailer and here at our facility. And right away, as soon as I stepped in, I was pretty happy with what I saw. It was like readily apparent. This thing was not beat up. It was just a couple people went out camping a little bit. Their situation changed. They need more sleeping space. They like their camper and they just wanted kind of a bigger bunk version of something sort of like it. That's effectively what we're looking at here. This does have central air, LED lighting by the way. The Summit package that's on this one adds a couple things that you can both see right here. That LED accent light above the kitchen area as well as that recessed headboard up in the bedroom. Uh, but regardless of how this one was built when it was brand new, it actually had pretty good storage for such a small trailer. Starting up top here, we do have all pocket screwed cabinets. Those are hardwood cabinet door frames by the way. And one of the things this floor plan allows for that's nice are those easy reach appliance outlets next to that stone cast sink with the cover right there. High rise sprayer faucet, by the way. If you're not familiar with stone cast, you can pour scalding hot boiling water into it. You're not going to damage it. It's not a plastic sink. You notice that you've got heat vents on the side of that cabinet there because you do not have them in the floor. What you haven't seen so far is a pantry, but don't worry. You've got all sorts of storage space over here. Great little shelf if you want to expand your entertainment. And you can see how the TV does pivot right out. So uh, if you want to hang out over here in this L-shaped lounge, you've got a good, good place to do it. Over here, we've got our entry area sort of command center. And then they've got this little, never knew what to call this, like hat pocket, whatever it is. The fact is they just didn't waste an opportunity for any sort of storage space. Inside our bedroom up here, we just pass a sliding pocket privacy door so you can get this fully enclosed. Full overhead cabinet, and I like the fact that they've always been very good at Apex about angling inward those hanging wardrobe closets. It's just a neat little visual thing, and it makes the RV look and feel a little bit bigger. You've also got fully separated storage from the area that's under the bed versus in that pass-through. As we mentioned, that TV can pivot around for easy viewing from the L-shaped sofa lounge over here. And it's great for daytime, just kind of chilling. But what are you going to do for dinner time? Well, that's why it comes with this free-floating table here. Now, what's also cool about that, it's made with the same sealed edge sort of countertop material called thermal foil that you would find over here on the uh, kitchen counters. You'll find the same thing on the bathroom countertop. So uh, anywhere that you stand a chance to maybe, say, like accidentally spill a drink, you've got something with a sealed edge to keep that protected. That makes it very good for floating outside. This is good for more than just seating or grabbing a quick bite though. This is also going to function as our guest sleeping space. You see you've got, it's going to be, you know, maybe decent for one person. It's definitely not a big double person high to bed, but this is a small camper. So if you've got like a guest, maybe a grandkid, something like that, or maybe you just got a big dog who needs a big spot, you could fold that open when they need. And looking at the mattress, it's painfully obvious. That was never used for sleeping. But it's not all it does. You've also got bonus storage under this section of the Yale uh, lounge as well. And that gas strut makes getting in and out of there pretty easy. Another slide and privacy door back to this bathroom, which is fully travel accessible back here, by the way. And I tell you, this is another one of those areas where Coachman's propensity to just overdo it, if, if there is such a thing, on storage really kind of shines. You've got a great large countertop space in here, all sealed edge again, and anywhere they could. Cabinets, drawers, doors, something. They just didn't waste any of it. And where you see that done is over here next to this corner shower. You've got this handy little shelf thing right here, which is just begging you to pack this thing full of all sorts of beach towels, body washes, whatever you got. And the exterior's looking good. This was built with the Summit package, which is where that full painted nose cap is coming from. It's got some great LED accents on there. Power awning, power tongue jack, does all the heavy lifting for you, quick campsite setup. It does have an enclosed heated underbelly, not a Four Seasons Arctic camper. It's an extended season, spring, summer, fall camper. Seal gripping, leak preventing slide walls, helps prevent leaks. <laughs> and we do have 
a walkable roof on here. Aluminum wheels are looking good. The tires do not appear to be weather checked. Nothing on the camper appears to be weather checked. Roof has been well maintained. The whole RV has been well maintained. I haven't verified. I suspect this has potentially been stored indoors away from the weather because it is gleaming. This was built with the uh, frameless window option. Uh, although the window on the side of the slide will slide open for airflow so you can't accidentally close the thing and break it. I can't find anything on this that really concerns me, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't talk about this. This has Asdell in the sidewalls. That's such a big deal and it's such a hard thing to find in the used RV market. It helps keep the RV lighter weight. The material itself is lighter weight, can't rot, mold, or mildew. It has some sound deadening qualities. It's part of the reason they stayed within the Coachman Ultralight family. So if you like what you see, give us a call. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.